guys, Brittany here with an update video uh, on May the 12th. This update video isn't what you think it's going to be. Um, I've got a little bit of news, um, good and bad. Um, and just I just want to discuss a couple of things with you guys. Um, as of right now, I'm thinking about putting a hold on my YouTube channel. Mostly because I am really stressed out with work and with um, other things and my YouTube channel is just one more thing for me to worry about and one more thing to stress out about. Um, so it's cross-stitching. I'm thinking about putting my stitching on hold pretty much period for however long I need to. Um, it's just that, like I said, work has been really busy. I've been um, lucky to come home at night and still be awake. Um, I've been putting extra hours in making hundreds of phone calls to clients and just it's taken a lot of energy out of me and I'm doing a lot of extra things right now. Um, one of the girls we just hired before Christmas actually quit. So now we're kind of on the verge of looking for somebody new and until we find somebody new, I think I'm going to be stuck working every day, all day until we can find someone. And that's not really ideal, um, but I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen until we find a replacement for the girl that quit. And then I'm gonna be focusing my time on training the new person we're not 100% sure what we're doing with work right now, whether we're going to, um, like I'm the manager or so-called manager of the um, boarding tunnel that we have attached to our veterinary clinic and we're thinking that we might just start declining boarding altogether. And if that happens, then I'm not really sure I'm going to be still interested in keeping my job because I, I work at that veterinary clinic strictly for the boarding there because I get to spend so much time with the animals. And if I'm just going to be at the veterinary clinic for maintenance purposes and to be a cleaning lady, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'll just, I'll find something else and um, yeah, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that right now. Um, so there's that one thing that's stressing me out. Um, like I said, between work and not really having that much time stitching, period. I mean, I've stitched a little bit since my last video, but not really a lot. So, and I, and to be honest with you, when I come home from work, I just really don't feel like doing anything. I've been spending my time playing video games and talking with my girlfriend. That's it. Um, I wanted to focus a little more this, even this summer, on reading some books that I really want to get into and finish reading and I just picked up a new book the other day that I really want to read so I don't know. I really just don't know what this summer is going to bring for me and I've just realized that there's other things that need my attention and my focus right now and cross stitching in YouTube isn't one of them and while I do enjoy my cross stitching and I enjoy making YouTube videos for you guys I just think that it's one extra thing that I just can't put my energy into right now and, um, I just, it is, has nothing, this has nothing to do with you guys at all, it has nothing to do with any negativity or anything like that, um, but I do get the feeling that not that many people watch my channel, I'm not that big, I've only got like 200 subscribers, so I really just feel like I'm not really going to be missed all that much when I go, and I'm, I'm not taking anything personally, don't get me wrong, I just feel like... At this point in time, I put out a lot of effort for my videos and not that many people watch them and I don't really get as much feedback as I thought that I would get and I don't know. So, and my home life also has become pretty stressful. Um, I had something come up a couple of, like a week or two ago that, um triggered a really bad memory for me from when I was a child and that put me into a state of depression of sorts. Um, I didn't handle it very well and yeah. 
So there's that, my family life. I want to drop some things so that I can make more time for my girlfriend who I don't really get to spend enough time with as it is right now. Um, because she's my priority really. Her and my job are my priority and that's kind of where I'm at right now. I really have to just focus on that um, and on her. So, because her and I have been talking a little bit more about what we want with our future and and all of that so um and then of course there's the convention that's coming up in October that's like a little more than four months away and I just I don't know I want to take that time to focus on my girlfriend work and this convention and just put all my effort into planning and making sure that I have enough money and making sure that everything that me and my girlfriend want to do is like planned out and sorted and organized and everything else. I just, I've got so much going on right now in my life that I think dropping cross stitching and dropping my YouTube channel is going to benefit me, at least for now. I'm not saying that I'm not going to come back. I'm not going to say that, you know, a couple weeks from now I might pop in and say, hey, I actually did some stitching. I just don't know. I'm not making promises. I'm not going to say I'm going to do videos every two weeks. I'm not saying I'm going to do a video once a month. I'm just going to do it whenever I feel like doing it. Um, I just feel like I've been putting too much stress on myself to cross stitch when I really just don't feel like it. Um, because I, I put down these expectations and I put down these rotations and all of this other stuff to help please you guys and to help please myself and it's really just not working. So, that being said, if you haven't guessed by now, uh, YouTube channel is being put on hold. I don't know for how long. We'll see. Um, and I'm really sorry, but it's just something that I have to do for me right now. And I think, um, like I said, I've been taking um, more time to make sure that I'm less stressed and I'm taking care of myself and taking care of things that I think are important. And while cross-stitching is fun, it's not really important. So, um, yeah, I just... I just have to put it away for now and focus on other things to help me relax and to not feel so stressed out all the time. Um, so that being said, like I said, I'm really sorry, but that's how things are going to have to be, at least for now. And um, yeah, so that's that. Um, on the brighter note, I have a finish to show you guys. And I'm actually going to um, attach a little bit of a detail video here. I know already that the Evergreen Needle, um, Kelly really is looking forward to seeing uh, seeing this. So um, I guess I will show that to you guys right now. Just a sec. All right, guys, you guys get to look at some Supernatural while I explain this to you. Um, so my finish is actually my Electra from Nora Corbett, and I stitched her on 14 count milk chocolate Ada that's, that was provided by Witchel, which I think is like the same company that kind of does fabrics for these Mirabilias and all that stuff. Um, and I started her on December the 31st of 2015, and I finished her yesterday, May the 11th. Um... One alteration that I did make to her was that I did not stitch the moon that was supposed to be um, stitched in with her just because I feel like it wasn't really needed. It took away from what I thought was an already beautiful picture. So, yeah, no no moon, and I think she still looks gorgeous. Um, so, and I know that Kelly, uh, the Evergreen Needle, is really excited to see her. So, without further ado, let us see Electra. And there we are. She is, I'm sorry, I'm so bad with the camera. I'm not like really shaky. Um, there she is. She's finished. And the beating took forever, I'll be honest. Um, it took longer than I thought it was going to take. But that's because I, you know, I had a little bit of frustration. Especially with this area here. Um... I don't know. Anyway, this area here where these beads are, um, uh, let's see if I can get in, focusing there. In here, there's some beads that are, like, not that awesome. That Like, this one right here, um, some of them, they just seem like they're bigger than the, the normal size of the beads. So, they kind of, like, made everything look 
um, not very straight. And that didn't really make me very happy. But I have a very strong feeling that maybe it's not the size of the bead. It's just the fact that I stitched this area one color at a time. Where I should have probably just stitched from top to bottom. So that everything laid more flat. Lesson learned for next time, I guess. And this part was really fun too. To do. The little... So, I mean, for my first Nora Corbett, I am pretty impressed. And I do still have to add my initial, which I'm, my initials, which I'm going to put um, right in here, I think, in some black floss. And I'll bring you up to the pumpkin, which was super fun, too. Um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't a big fan of stitching with so much black, and I feel like... Next time, I'm going to work with 3 over 1 instead of 2 over 1. But we'll have to see how that goes. Um, and I kind of started with the beading um, on the pumpkin, and then I worked this way and down her dress. And then her wing, which was, like, really fun to do. And I had, like, a pain stitching that because of the fact that I made so many mistakes in it and I had to unstitch it and restitch it, and it was just a nightmare. And the skin, which isn't done one over one, because I stitched it on Ada. But I think the next Mirabilia I'm going to do, I'm going to try doing it on an even weave and try doing the one over one skin. See how I like it. But, um, yeah, I definitely love her. And the Bewitching Pixies are definitely going to be um, projects that I continue with with doing um, the Nora Corbett's. Um, the bigger Mirabilias kind of scare me just because of the fact that they're so big and I don't really have a proper frame to use right now for any of that. And I really just have to make some, like my dad still has to make a stand for the one frame that I do have. So until then I'm not going to go and start anything new. And like I said, my, my channel's on hold. So that's going to continue. To, you guys need to see this, okay? My dog. I have a bad habit sometimes of, um... Piling, just like throwing my clothes on the floor when I'm done work. And my dog has made a bed of my pajamas and my work clothes. Emma, are you comfortable? <laughs> are you comfortable there, baby? Say hi to Floss Tube. Hi to Floss Tube. I'm a spoiled brat. And I lay wherever the heck I feel like it. Yep. As long as there's something laying on the floor, she'll, uh, there's a crate right there. But no. Laundry. Much better. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's Electra, and, um, I hope you enjoyed her. Enjoy seeing, enjoyed the, uh, journey that it took me to finishing her as much as I enjoyed actually stitching her. Um, and I hope that... The next time you guys see me, I might have another new start. I might uh, start one of the Nora Corbett Mirabilia Mermaids. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but anyways, thanks guys for watching my channel. And I hope to see you guys soon. Um, just don't have any expectations. Because I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to be coming back. But I will be coming back. And um, when I do, hopefully it's with a renewed vigor for stitching. And... Um, a better um, set lifestyle and a better um, better standing on on um, my job and everything like that. So I'll see you guys um, next time, whenever that next time may be. Thanks so much again for watching and subscribing and liking. And um, yeah, bye.